Hello, and welcome to Factation. We're your go-to source for fascinating facts about everything under the sun. Today, we're unraveling the mysteries of one of the most enigmatic creatures on the planet, the house cat. From the soothing sound of their purr to their inexplicable love of boxes, we're answering six of the most important questions about our feline friends. We're sure these tidbits will tickle your curiosity, whether you're a seasoned cat owner or just a casual observer of these captivating creatures. Now without further ado, let's dive into the wonderful world of feline facts. Question 1. Why do cats purr? It's a sound that's both soothing and intriguing, one that cat owners have been curious about for centuries. Now there are a few different reasons why cats purr. One of the most common reasons is contentment. When your furry friend is sprawled out in a sunbeam or curled up on your lap, that rhythmic purr can be a sign of pure feline bliss. But did you know that cats also purr when they're hungry? It's true. Some cats have actually been known to use a special kind of purr, almost like a cry, to let their owners know when it's mealtime. But it's not just about contentment and hunger. Cats can also purr when they're nervous or in pain. It's their way of trying to soothe themselves, almost like a child might suck their thumb. In fact, the act of purring releases endorphins, which can help to alleviate pain. Now let's talk about the science behind purring. You see, cats have a bone in their throat called the hyoid, which is fixed in place. This bone is thought to be responsible for the purring sound. When the cat's brain signals the laryngeal muscles to vibrate, they act upon the hyoid bone, creating that familiar purr. And here's the truly fascinating part, purring might actually have healing properties. Some studies suggest that the specific frequency of a cat's purr can promote the production of growth factors, which are like the body's natural repair kit. This could explain why cats often purr when they're injured or unwell. They're actually trying to heal themselves. So the next time your cat purrs, remember, it's not just a sign of happiness. It could be a sign of hunger, stress, or even an attempt at self-healing. It's just one of the many ways that cats communicate with us and a reminder of how wonderfully complex these creatures are. Question two, what's the deal with catnip? Now, if you've ever seen a cat around catnip, you know it's like a feline version of a kid in a candy store. But what causes this peculiar reaction? It all comes down to a compound called nepetalactone, found in catnip. This organic compound when sniffed by our furry friends can lead to a variety of responses from rolling, flipping, rubbing, and eventually zoning out. It's like they've entered their own little catnip-induced world of bliss. Now not all cats are affected by catnip. In fact, around 30% of cats are seemingly immune to its effects. It's believed to be a hereditary trait. So if your cat's parents weren't fans of the nip, chances are your kitty won't be either. For the 70% that do react, the effects of catnip are temporary, lasting about 10 to 15 minutes before wearing off. After that, it takes a few hours before they're susceptible to its effects again. It's also worth mentioning that catnip is completely safe for cats. So, whether they're getting their fix from a toy, a spray, or dried leaves, there's no need for concern. Just remember, everything in moderation. So, what's the deal with catnip? Well, it's a bit like a fun, safe, and temporary roller coaster ride for cats, giving them a burst of energy followed by a peaceful euphoria. Think of catnip as a mini vacation for your feline friend. Question 3. Why do cats love boxes? It's a mystery that has puzzled cat owners for ages, but scientists believe they have some answers. Cats, like their wild ancestors, are creatures of habit and instinct. They value their safety and security, and a box of all things provides just that. You see, in the wild, cats are both predators and prey. They are always on high alert, always on the lookout for potential threats. And that's where boxes come in. A box, with its enclosed space and single entry point, provides an excellent hiding spot. It's a place where a cat can observe its surroundings without being seen. It's a safe haven where cats can retreat to when they feel threatened or need a break from the hustle and bustle of household life. But boxes aren't just for safety. Oh no, they also make the perfect napping spot. Cats love to curl up in small, cozy spaces. It's a trait they share with their big cat cousins who often sleep in dens. A box, especially a cardboard one, can provide warmth and insulation. It's a cozy, snug spot that's just the right size for a cat nap. And let's not forget boxes are fun. They are toys that spark curiosity and playfulness. Cats love to explore and a box provides endless opportunities for this. They can jump in and out, swat at the corners, or just sit and enjoy the feeling of being enclosed. So, there you have it. Boxes provide safety, comfort, and entertainment for our feline friends.
They cater to their instinctual needs and behaviors. Boxes. They're not just for shipping anymore. Question 4. Why do cats need? This is a behavior you've likely observed if you've spent any time around our feline friends. Kneading, or as some like to call it, making biscuits, is a rhythmic action cats perform by pushing in and out with their paws, alternating between left and right. But what's the reason behind this peculiar behavior? Well, it all starts when they're just kittens. You see, kittens need their mother's belly to stimulate milk production. This instinctive behavior is so comforting and rewarding that they continue it into adulthood. So when your adult cat is needing, it's often a sign that they're feeling content and secure, much like they did when they were nursing. In addition to expressing contentment, needing is also a way for cats to show affection. It's a behavior typically reserved for when they're feeling most relaxed and happy, such as when they're being petted or settling down for a nap. But there's a practical aspect to needing as well. Cats have scent glands in their paws so when they need, they're also marking their territory, letting other cats know that this is their spot. So the next time your cat starts needing, take it as a compliment. It means they're feeling safe, happy, and affectionate. Plus, they're letting everyone know that you belong to them. Quite a multi-purpose behavior, don't you think? Question 5. Why do cats prefer drinking from a faucet? You might have noticed this peculiar behavior in your feline friend, and it's not just because they're trying to be cute or playful. The reason lies in their evolutionary past. Cats are descendants of desert-dwelling ancestors. Living in such arid conditions water was a scarce resource. And when it did appear, it was often in the form of running streams or trickling oases. This has led to a deeply ingrained preference in cats for running water. You see, running water is typically fresher and safer than stagnant water. In the wild, a still pool could be a breeding ground for harmful bacteria and parasites. On the other hand, running water is less likely to house such dangers. This instinctive preference has been passed down through generations of felines, and it's why your house cat may be more inclined to drink from a dripping faucet than a stagnant water bowl. Furthermore, the movement of running water is more likely to catch a cat's attention. Their keen eyes are finely tuned to detect the slightest motion, so a dripping tap or a gurgling fountain can be quite enticing. So, don't be surprised if your cat turns up its nose at a bowl of still water, they're just following their instincts, honed over thousands of years for the freshest, safest drink available. Question 6. How do cats always land on their feet? This peculiar yet fascinating ability of our feline friends is something that has intrigued us for generations. It's not magic, nor is it pure chance. Instead, it's a combination of unique physical characteristics and a dash of physics. Cats possess a flexible backbone and have no functional collarbone. This flexibility allows them to twist their bodies in mid-air. But how do they know which way is down? The answer lies in the tiny, fluid-filled canals in their inner ear that sense gravity and help them orient themselves. Now let's talk about the role of their tail. A cat's tail acts like a gymnast's balance beam, helping to stabilize and guide their body during the fall. The tail twists and turns, assisting the body to rotate in the right direction. But what about the final moment, the actual landing? Cats' muscular legs act as shock absorbers. When they hit the ground, their legs absorb the impact, allowing them to land safely on their feet and move on as if nothing happened. So, you see, it's not just a cat's inherent sass that makes them land on their feet every time. It's a complex process involving their unique skeletal structure, a keen sense of orientation, the clever use of their tail, and the absorption power of their legs. It's not just luck, it's physics. And there you have it, six important questions about cats answered. We've journeyed through the enigma of purring, the allure of catnip, the obsession with boxes, the comforting kneading behavior, the preference for faucet water, and the incredible aerial acrobatics cats perform to always land on their feet. Each of these facets contributes to the complex and fascinating creatures that cats are. Don't forget to subscribe to Factation for more fascinating facts, and leave a comment below with your favorite cat fact. Until next time.